drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. And today we're talking about the Houston Astros, Washington Nationals in the World Series. And so far, the Nats go up 2-0 in Houston. Huge for the Nationals to go up 2-0 in Houston. They come home last night in Washington and they play not the greatest because they lose 4-1. to one. They get guys on base. That wasn't an issue. They were getting guys on base, getting guys in scoring position, and then they just couldn't get the big hit. So it's not that they weren't hitting at all. They just couldn't get the big hit to bring in the runs. They went 0 for 10 with runners in scoring position. Juan Soto on his birthday goes 0 for 4. So a tough game. They got guys on base, but they just couldn't get the big hits. They squandered opportunity after opportunity after opportunity, and they end up losing the game 4 to 1, give up four runs. Sanchez pitched okay. He had a tough day out there with the umpire, though, and I'm not trying to get onto the umpires because I'm going to have a lot of videos getting on to umpires on this channel. But, you know, I'm not saying it was the umpire's fault that they lost the game. I don't believe that at all. However, there were balls right down the middle getting called balls or right at the knees that were clearly strikes getting called balls. And there were balls two, three inches off the plate getting called strikes. You know, and it's happened both ways. I'm not saying just against the Nationals. It was just, it wasn't a very consistent strike zone. It wasn't a very good strike zone. If it was consistent, you can't be calling balls three, three inches off the plate strikes and then balls right down the middle balls. What's going on with that? But that's normal these days. You know, umpiring, you know, I got so much to say about it. And I know these guys are good at what they do in general. But when it comes to balls and strikes, I mean, I think they just make up their own zones. And so, you know, you just have to deal with it. But it didn't affect the game as far as a win or loss, I don't believe, because the Nationals had so many opportunities and they couldn't come through with the bats. They just couldn't get the hits when they needed the big hits. So they lose the game 4-1 to one, and the Astros now have a win in the series. 2-1 to one, Nationals up so we're going into game four tonight what is there to look forward to interesting matchup super interesting matchup the Astros going with Jose Urquidy not one of their big names but he does have a 2.08 ERA in the postseason so far so he has good stuff he can pitch but he's not normally a starter he only started about seven games in the regular season so it's kind of interesting they're going with this guy though he may pitch no not too many innings i only expect maybe three or four innings he's not going to pitch you know seven eight innings. he's not going in there like a normal starter he's going in there like a tampa bay rays starter you know they go in there pitch a couple innings and they're gone now i don't know exactly how many innings he's going to pitch because aj hinch has said he's just going to let him pitch as long as he looks good at least that's what he's saying of course in his mind he might have an actual plan that he doesn't want to share with everyone because he doesn't want to give away his strategy but I expect he's only going to pitch probably three or four innings. The Astros got a lot of good guys in the bullpen. Their bullpen is good. Their bullpen is sharp. So they're going to not hesitate to bring in those. We're probably going to see Joe Smith. We're probably going to see Brad Peacock, Will Harris. We're probably going to see the infamous Roberto Osuna in there. So we're going to see all those guys probably in tonight's game. Nationals, who are they going with? Nationals going with Patrick Corbin, one of their big names. The thing about Corbin, though, is I've been seeing him come out of the bullpen a lot lately. So he's been getting used in relief a lot during this postseason, and I'm hoping that that doesn't affect his start day, affect his routine. I talked a little bit about this a few days ago when I was talking about Clayton Kershaw and how these guys get their routines messed up in the postseason. Well, Patrick Corbin, he's been coming in in relief. He's done okay, but his stats in the postseason don't look too good ERA-wise. He's gotten he's gotten hit hard once or twice, and, and uh, hopefully... You know, hopefully he's sharp tonight. I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of runs tonight. I think that both pitchers are not going to be at their best. And I think, you know, it's going to be a bullpen game. And that's going to be a problem for more of the Nationals than the Astros if Corbin can't stay in there for quite a few six, seven innings because they don't have a lot of arms. Besides Hudson and Doolittle, I mean, I don't know who they're going to go to. Tanner Rainey is an arm I love. This guy is, but he's really young, but he has got an electric arm. Unfortunately, he doesn't always know where the ball is going. So he's all over the strike zone, and he was walking guys last time he came in. I was really excited to see him, but he just couldn't. When he was throwing strikes, when he was when he was hitting that slider, yes, he was he was awesome. But of course, the Astros had some sick hitters up there, very patient hitters. They weren't swinging, they weren't chasing. So it's going to be, you know, Tanner Rainey looks awesome, but I don't know if you want Tanner Rainey out there. They got Fernando Rodney. I love Fernando Rodney. Who does not love Fernando Rodney? 
I don't know if Nationals fans want to see him out there. Not that he's not good. He's he's a big name. He's great, but he's been around for a long time, and he's obviously not as sharp as he was back in you know 2005 or whatever when he was at his best with the Rays. Um, so man, Fernando Roddy, but he's still around. He's still around. He's on the roster, so he must have stuff. He must know what he's doing. He's, he's a veteran. He, he's good. He's not going to get shaken up out there. He's not going to walk a bunch of people. So Fernando Rodney is an option out there in the bullpen for the Nats. But the Nationals, not the greatest bullpen. That might be their weakness. So you got to hope, as a Nationals fan or someone rooting for the Nationals, that Corbin can hang in there for six or seven innings. And that would be just a blessing for the Nationals and will really improve their chances of getting a win tonight. I'm predicting a lot of runs in tonight's game, but I think the Nationals are going to come through more often than they did last night. They're not going to go 0 for 10 with the runners in scoring position. They're going to get the big hits when they need them. They're going to score runs. And I'm hoping they pull through tonight with the W for Washington okay so I'm hoping they get the win and the Washington Nationals can go up three to one against the Astros I'm just rooting for them because I'm a National League guy so typically unless it's the Dodgers I'm going to support the National League team no offense Dodgers no offense but come on so anyway thank you guys for joining me so go ahead and hit that subscribe button thank you guys for checking this video out we're going to be talking a lot of baseball you will not regret hitting that subscribe button because we're going to be covering umpires. We're going to be covering rule changes. We're going to be covering off the field craziness. We're going to be covering the Giants and other teams as well and all the offseason moves and the managerial moves and everything freaking else there is to cover in this amazing game that's called Base Ball. Follow me on HumbabyBB on Twitter. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.